and 7 RBP again. Today we're going to talk about system fusion and the FTM D100 uh, with its new firmware upgrade that allows you to access the system fusion wires X network via the radio only talking directly into the microphone. Uh, very recent Firmware update has allowed uh, uh, you to do that, and uh, the firmware update itself I won't get into because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the documentation is very good. If you follow the instructions, it works. Uh, takes a long time. I have no clue why Yesu makes their firmware update a three-part uh, trilogy, <laughs> but but they do. Uh, anyhow, if you follow the instructions, it works, and uh, that uh, uh, gets the radio ready to go. Uh, as with everything that I do, there's always a speed bump somewhere that I have a hard time getting over. Uh, and uh, in this particular process, trying to make my newly updated firmware FTM100 work on Wires X, uh, configuring the radio properly uh, once the firmware update had been done uh, was kind of a speed bump for me. So I'm going to show you how to get the radio into the proper mode, which gave me some issues, some hard, some issues. And uh, uh, the WireZack software for the computer, uh, they have to be, they have to work intricately, intricately with each other so that uh, uh, they can access the system. So with that, we'll start with the radio. We'll show you how to basically get it into the wires X mode, uh, which was my biggest speed bump. And then we'll give you an idea how the, or we'll show you how the uh, software uh, works and how to get on to the rooms and stuff that way. So here we go. So, when you power up your radio, this is your typical screen that you typically get uh, with your standard FTM 100DR. This is the way it's always looked, and this is the way it normally boots up. However, to get it into Wires X mode to work on the Wires X system, to access uh, the Wires X rooms, you have to do a three-fingered reboot. So basically you turn it off. Then you press the DX and the GM button simultaneously and then power it on. Now, you see it's in Wires X mode. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll start the software, and uh, you'll see what happens when, uh, to the radio when we start the software. So it'll take a second to get the software rolling, and we'll fast forward here just a little bit. There we go. The software is up and running, and you can see now that uh, Wires X node here, and it says direct. Now, what I uh, was having a hard time with uh, was the boot up procedure. There was in the instructions it showed to push down just the DX button and uh, open it up or boot it up, and uh, it came up in PDN mode. They said, and that was what was confusing me in the instructions and. Uh, Finally, through the instructions, the instructions, it's all there in the instructions, it's just hard to understand. What I wasn't getting was the three-fingered DXGM boot up. And uh, then I was, I was getting direct all right. I could go from uh, uh, actual uh, frequency to direct by hitting the AB button in PDN mode, but it just wasn't working. And uh, my biggest issue was getting the wires X big screen up and that's what it takes is doing the three fingered boot DX GM and power on and hold them all down don't let one up 
let them hold them all down at the same time until wires X comes up. So there we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to show you uh, the wires X system once we've got it booted up, uh, how to uh, uh, make contacts. Stand by. Okay, so here is the Wires X software. You can see up here in the top left-hand corner, it says Wires X. And we just uh, got that going, you saw. And this is what it looks like. It'll bring up, in this area right here, uh, it'll bring up uh, a whole bunch of, basically, uh, nodes uh, uh, and uh, wireless you can see the little uh, uh, radiating pattern here uh, this this is uh, just a uh, person like myself which is not accessing the system via a repeater but just via the internet uh, and then there's uh, the D's and the A's those are uh, I believe uh, repeaters and uh, gateways and then down below here, uh, these are all uh, gobs and gobs of people who are on the system too. If I scroll down here, you'll be able to see how many uh, all over the world are uh, on the system right now, logged on to the system. And uh, you can go by state, uh, you can uh, sort by state, uh, sort by country. Uh, here's a country, Argentina, uh, and if you go down, you can go down to United States, STU, there's USA. But there's so many people coming and going all the time that it pops right back. <laughs> so you got to find your favorites and, uh, and bookmark them. But here's USA, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, uh, blah, 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 blah. So you can basically uh, uh, go to any, anywhere in the world. Uh, and uh, the same is true with this screen up here. Uh, you've got... Uh, uh, just gobs and gobs of this is all Japan, USA. Uh, uh, theoretically, you can connect to all these people. So, what you need to do is go through here and, and decide which ones you like and which ones are your favorites. Now, I have bookmarked a few of my favorites. Uh, I haven't been on it for very long, just a few days. But uh, I bookmark uh, uh, America Link, America Link, uh, uh, CQ, United Kingdom. Uh, this Leo ARC, that's Leo uh, Amateur Radio Club. Uh, I talked to a guy out there in Maine, nice guy, so I uh, uh, wouldn't mind talking with him again. American Rag Chew and uh, Portland, PDX Metro. Uh, here it shows the, uh, under ACT, that stands for active. That's the number of people that are in these rooms right now. Uh, Portland Metro shows to have one only, uh, six in American Rag Chew. Uh, America Link has almost 199 people in it right now. Uh, so basically, uh, when you connect, over here on the right side, uh, you'll see things start happening uh, once I connect. And you'll see here in just a second when I connect. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, that's basically it. So what we want to do is we'll connect. We'll connect to this uh, uh, America Link. That seems to be one of the most popular uh, ones and we'll just connect like that and or I mean we'll highlight that and then we'll come up here and go connect with a C and boom there we are we're on wires X and this uh, this shows us right away that we're connected to uh, America link network and uh, uh, I'll bring this down and you can see all the people that are connected here and uh, to talk now, all you got to do is uh, call somebody or wait for an opening and uh, key up the microphone and you're ready to go. So now what we'll do, we'll go back to the radio and listen to the radio. And uh, uh, when, oh, one other thing, when you key up, this local will turn to a green or the on the air will turn to a green Internet sign. And uh, uh, you'll see, but we'll go uh, we'll go into the other room now and we'll uh, we'll visit this on the uh, 
on the radio itself. Okay, you can see the call sign up at the top where it says node. When somebody comes in, you'll see their call sign. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa monitoring Medford, Oregon. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa monitoring Medford, Oregon. You can see we're going to have to fast forward this. For November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, this is Kilo 4, November Zulu. Name here is Mike in Jacksonville, Florida. Kilo 4, November Zulu. Glad to meet you. Name's Bob. I'm in Medford, Oregon. We have a, about eight miles away, we have a quaint little town that's uh, got lots of personality. It's uh, named Jacksonville as well, Jacksonville, Oregon. So, <laughs> sounds good. I'm doing a video right now on uh, how to get this uh, FTM 100DR uh, working on uh, Wires X with the new firmware upgrade. And uh, just... Uh, uh, doing a little footage here to uh, uh, demo it and then uh, try to get it up on YouTube. Go ahead. Very good, Bob. And uh, I understand the FTM 100 has three firmware updates and handle the DSP in the main. And uh, you're, sounding, you're sounding pretty good coming on this end. Uh, it sounds like uh, you got everything updated and uh, working out uh, the way you need it to. Uh, so fantastic. Uh, glad that. Uh, Two thousand and twelve miles away he is, it shows. Okay, well very good Mike. Thank you for the making the uh, making the contact here with me and doing the demo. I do appreciate it and you're sounding great on this end as well. Uh, sometimes uh, the packet loss on some of the stations uh, uh, show a little less than optimal audio, but uh, for the most part the audio, audio is usually quite good. So, As a newbie here and having gone through a couple of speed bumps, uh, I just wanted to uh, clarify those speed bumps so that uh, maybe we can smooth them out for uh, someone else that uh, is trying to do the same thing. So that, uh, that works good. Thanks again, Mike. I appreciate it. And this will be good enough footage for my video. And uh, uh, enjoy your day in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm sure it's sunny, blue skies, and a whole lot nicer than it is here in uh, southern Oregon right now. <laughs> 73s. I'll uh, turn it back to the, uh, to the group here and let uh, uh, one of the other hundred that are logged on here right now take a turn. This is N7RBP Medford, Oregon. We're QRT. AM4 UUO Bill in Adairsville, Northwest Georgia. Listening. Okay, very good, Bob. It was a pleasure speaking with you. We'll definitely catch up with you uh, down the log, hopefully. And we'll say 73 to you as well. Uh, K7 RBP, this is K4NZ, and I'll, I'll be clear. I'll okay, so there you go. There's a uh, contact uh, shows how it works, and uh, it's easy once uh, once you get it going. And uh, now we'll go back and I'll uh, uh, elaborate a little further on the uh, on the software. Okay, so that was it. That showed my contact in the other room. And uh, uh, again, we're, it shows right here, we're connected to America Link. Uh, as you saw, the on the air local, uh, when I was talking and keyed up, um, it showed internet uh, as opposed to on the air. And all these people are showing, this, this uh, window right here is showing people that have come and are going it says here in and out, in and out, in and out, uh, and uh, just shows who is who is coming and who is going. Uh, again, this shows that we're connected to the Wires X network, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, to disconnect, basically, we just hit connect, 
or up here and go disconnect and boom we are instantly disconnected and uh, it's a done deal a crocodile done deal so there we are guys uh, once it's all set up it's pretty easy to make work but uh, those little speed bumps sometimes are a heck of a note so okay so now all that's left to do once they're all done is uh, bring down the software as you're uh, leaving the whole system and we'll just exit out of the software and you'll see the radio turn back to as you can see in a second it will come back to the wires X there we go now it's no longer seeing the software no longer running the software and it's back into just simply wires X standby and then to bring it back to normal operating procedures turn it off and you just do the same thing again the reverse three fingered boot up there we go now it's back to your standard operating mode for uh, analog and and uh, normal C4 FM local talk there we go let's see let's change this over to a memory channel there we go N7 RBP shining off